All right, guys, we're going to call this one the art of the swarm. Swarm happens when the hive has a queen, replaces it with a cell. They cap the cell. The mated queen leaves. They cluster in a tree, usually about 100 feet from the original hive. I am willing to bet hive right there on the left is the one that swarmed because it had a had some cap queen cells in it. And I'm betting that's a virgin. And bees swarm at the most inopportune time. Notice the nice storm clouds. We're getting ready to have a massive storm. So the art of the catch. Let's see if I can get this camera set up so you can see. Need to be more on the box than on the swarm because I'm going to bring that limb down. Two ways I catch swarms. Either A, I put a frame of open brood in the box like I have here. If I can get the frame out because these boxes are a little tight. These bees love to propolize. Anyway, frame of open brood from another hive. Put that in the center. Swarms are comb drawing machines. So I will be giving them plenty of frames to draw. Actually, I gotta go get the lid. I'm gonna pause the video. Another valuable lesson. Always have everything ready when you go to do something like this. Now the simple part. Can't get much easier than this. You're just that close to the ground. You have right under it. Push the swarm right down against the frame of open brood and they'll basically walk off the limb and right in. Swarms are the gentlest, usually the gentlest the bees will ever get. These are, people are worried about all those bees flying in the air. Nah. Said about half of this swarm's already walked off. No need of shaking them, upsetting them, getting them all up in the air. They said that frame of brood, they smell the brood, they'll walk right off down into it. Storm clouds are actually going around me, so storm's coming later. About half of them down. Mama ever goes in the box, it's all over.
I'm doing is running my fingers through it, see if I can bring mama to the surface so I can drop her on down in there. I know some of you think I'm crazy out here without any protection on. My state inspector would definitely tell you I'm crazy. Jay Hassel's work. But. Knowing that these are my bees, knowing how gentle they are. I'm not worried about it. bring the camera on over here and let you see that there's just a little bit on there most of them are in the box you should all get a bunch of the foragers coming back trying to figure out where they are not the foragers the scouts trying to figure out where they went so I'm just going to go ahead and take and Knock the rest of them in the box. Hopefully I didn't lose too many peaches. I picked up, what, five or ten? See how they're flying around trying to get their bearings? See how those girls on top, they've got their butt up in the air fanning? Mama's in the box. because that's the, They're fanning the pheromone to come here. Notice they're not going, if she was still back up on the limb, they would be loaded up on this limb, but she's not. That swarm would take right back to the limb if the queen was up there. And that's as easy as it gets, folks. Can't get much easier than that on a swarm catch. I'll let them fly around and get the orientation of the box, close the, close the lid up and They'll start fanning at the front door and all the foragers that are out scouting will come back and go in the front door. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I just did. I made a split. <laughs>